Hey everyone, this is FC Popcorn and I'm joined today by my colleague Rahul Desai and my erstwhile colleague, <laughs> uh, my earlier partner in crime who is now the COO of Dharma Cornerstone, Rajiv Masan. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you. It's it been too like, long. It's been too long. This feels like the good old days. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. And, and we're going to talk about awards and Oscars. <laughs> And so I want to start with you, Rahul. Tell us, because you've seen hmm. way more of the Oscar contenders, hmm. uh, give us a sense of what did you think of the nominations? Um, yeah, like, I mean, like any year, I think it was, there were hits and misses and all. It was a fairly conventional sort of nomination list this year. And, you know, I'm happy that this time I managed to watch my favorite category a lot more, which was the documentary section and the international film section, because... The other sections are like any other awards. Uh, this there's a bit of mainstream. There's a bit of diversity. It's it's all a bunch of sort of hashtags after a while. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm most excited about uh, obviously all that breeds, which is our I think it's gonna favorite win. to win the Oscar, which yeah. which I'm going to, which I called one year ago, and I'm going to you still did call, call it. it. You yeah. called it a stone cold masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. At, at, uh, as soon as everyone saw it, I think last year at Sundance, we knew we had something special. So that will be, I think that for me, that'll be the highlight of the ceremony. The, I was a little surprised with some of the nomination. There was no decision to leave in the international film section, which was a big miss. Uh, no Joyland, which I'm sad about, but I love that at film. the same time, I haven't seen all of the others, so I can't really comment. But um, yeah, I think overall, um, I mean, I was very keenly following the nominations uh, when it was coming out. Of course, RRR nominated for Best Song, I think. And um, Did you think it was going to make... I was really hoping. I, thought, I, thought, I was hoping yeah. it would make it to Best Film. Yeah, I, I thought, but I think they had that section covered by Top Gun and Avatar too. <laughs> So I think they didn't want one more big film, uh, like sort of. They were done. The quota was there. done. Their quota was done, and you can see it's a quota thing also after a while. So, um, so I wasn't surprised to see it missed out on the main nominations. Um, but you know, it'll be interesting um, sort of uh, Oscars this year because there are no outright favorites in a lot of categories, except maybe um, you know best documentary because Steven Spielberg again is back in as the favorite and best director. But people still you can't tell you know which film is going to win still, um, which is a good. Thing. Which, which and I'm good. rooting for Michelle Yeoh for best actress. I am rooting for everything, everywhere, all at once in every category. Correct. Literally. Eleven nominations. Yeah, yeah. It's Massive. my, it's by far my favorite film of last year, and I'm very happy it, um, it got so many nominations. That it's not like it needed the validation, but it's I'm glad because now more people will watch it also. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason we are gathered mm-hmm. here though <laughs> is to talk about our. The state of our awards. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't know where this this figure is from Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. I don't know how uh, credible or, you know, legit it is. But approximately, it says there are approximately 63 major award awards across industries in India. Right? 63 major awards across industries. And then there is this figure about the Oscar bump. Where it says, and this is taken from the Evening Standard... A male actor's salary can increase up to 3.9 million after taking home an Oscar. Best actress win is worth half a million salary increase. Best picture Oscar winners earn about 13.8 million more post-Oscar than their nominated counterparts. Which is a dramatic real-life impact. Obviously, none of our awards come close to doing anything like this. So, Rajiv, I thought you'd be the perfect person because you were one of us and now you're one of them. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I think the the reason, the the chief reason is exactly what you said. There's 63 awards. I mean, you know, when there is that many, um, it's, it's... Everyone goes home with something at the end of the day. Um, And I think the, the other big problem is who's handing them out? Um, who's giving these awards? I mean, the reason there is no credibility or there's less credibility is because there is no transparent process. There isn't the one award um, that is given out by the peers or by the experts. I mean, there is, you know, to be honest, and I'm not saying this to flatter you, the, the Critics Award seems like the most legit because at least, you know, it's it's by a body filled with critics, real professional critics who are doing their job. Unfortunately, critics only have that much value, right? At the end of the day. <laughs> 
and I and, 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 and I'm it's it's awkward to say this because like you said I used to be there but now that I'm on this side I I I sort of recognize everyone of course loves that critical pat on the back but unfortunately nothing matters as much as a box office, box office. I mean Absolutely. that that is what that's what gives you the bump in the salary that's what gives you that that's what makes things change uh, when you had a big fat blockbuster that's when you can ask for a, a, a pay hike so um i think in that scenario the 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 you'd expect that the ones that the ones that have been around the longest and and not to run anyone down but if film fair awards have been the oldest um what is that process what is this business of some jury members and a part jury part public mm. who's public how many there, there is no transparency in the process and i think as a result um you know i mean everyone takes also i think the emphasis has never been on the awards you don't actually remember who won last year but you remember who performed last year right. i mean the fact that all these things have become mm. television shows i think even for actors very honestly they're like okay if i'm not winning an award this year am i getting to perform which means which which is code Money. for am i getting paid for this <laughs> then i'll turn up then i'll show up so uh, i i don't think they take themselves i mean the the awards whoever's organizing the awards take themselves seriously and as a result no one else does beyond a point everyone's happy to sort of they'll now it's instagram they'll put up a picture on instagram and and that's kind of pretty much it but at the end of the year everyone takes home an award i mean pretty much like every film gets for every single film gets four stars today yeah. right i mean from 1 to 4 every film gets mm-hmm. correct, I mean, so correct. so it's it's pretty much that i think so rajiv tell me since now you have a sort of understanding from the other side of how the industry works is there nobody or not enough people who care about creating a credible system because the truth is okay even hollywood this is a massive it's a industrial complex right and and they also have many awards yeah. it's not that yeah. there's yeah, one yeah that's true you know there's several there's the critic circle yeah. there's popular there's something something and each guild has their own awards each yeah. guild yeah. has their own awards the dga has yeah. its own awards sag is yeah. you know the screenwriters everything but all of it leads up to the oscars there's a certain amount and what happens is it actually has impact and not just if you win but even if you get nominated right right so in a sense i would think that it's it's in your interest as an artist yeah. to want a credible system is that not how they look at it i mean i think they do i think as a result for lack of for lack of any other options everyone sort of takes the national award a little bit more seriously which we also understand it's not meant to be taken seriously because again what is it it's a committee of of eight or nine people that decide and very often and and again no disrespect but very often you don't know half those people you don't know mm-hmm. what i mean are they in that position to be to be choosing them there's they they usually find a a credible legitimate sort of lead head head, head. Yeah. but half the time you don't know the i've been on those national board juries and i don't know uh, those people and and i'm not saying I, of course it could be ignorance one doesn't know what they do but no i don't think it's that i really think that there is no um th- there's no real work put in to to identify and to kind of create a, a completely credible system so i think uh, of course the i i think i think the theme industry would would love but i'm not i don't i don't believe that they're going to take the trouble to do it mm. um i mean that's why guild i mean there are unions right there are guilds in every uh, there, there is an actors uh, union and there is a writers union but we never did. i think it sort of you know hints to the larger malaise where this business is not united they've never been they've mm. just never been um no one does anything except for profit i mean personal profit and and if it affects everyone then i mean if it, if it, if it the only time you see them all together because you know it's affecting everybody hmm. uh, but there isn't i mean um, so so i'm sure that i'm sure everyone would would love to be and that's why you look that's why we look up at the oscars because that seems like the the gold standard and that seems like something that one wants to aspire to but otherwise okay national award because it's presented by the government of india it it, it you know the, the president will give it to you and and no one and today no one's really going to say oh that you know, no one goes out right and, and and says these are these are rigged or, or whatever but yeah no i i mean I, i think i think most professionals would want to receive an award that feels entirely credible but also um there are now so many that you'll get it somehow or the other so it's yeah. come and you'll you'll get an award i mean if you're half decent you'll get you'll get an award somewhere or, the or other. you'll get one of those most stylish that that too though yeah if nothing <laughs> if you if yeah. absolutely nothing else those are always there you know millennial star of <laughs> correct, the year correct, yeah. or most stylish those those categories just yeah, baffle me that's true <laughs>